Put my writing pen. Do you not need your writing pen? Oh, different pen. Okay. Welcome. How's it going, y'all? Um, sorry. I was doing things. Having a good do. Hey, beautiful partner. Um, cheers. Happy Thursday. Um, Lotus won the poll. Um, which is red, you know. Um, it's one of my omen maps, which is the main reason why I put only omen maps on <laughs> the poll. Because I wanted something, um, a little bit more low-key. Um, I guess to start off, um, I'm actually going to use this stream to create my first YouTube video of the content that I've wanted to be doing, um, so far. So... I guess to start off, hi, my name is Ethan, also known as Rasmus. At the beginning of this year, I was a top 100 Valorant coach in North America, um, but I'm not a very good player. So the point of what we're trying to do here is I'm going to go on the journey with you where I'm going to apply the teachings that I was working with my Radiant team on how to grow and develop as individuals and we can hold each other accountable. So today, we are going to start making a playbook. If you don't know what a playbook is, or you haven't ever made a playbook before, we're going to go through step-by-step, -step, Bob Ross style, and we're just going to break it down, you know? Um, before we start, let's do some rank drill, right? Boop. Boop. Nope, wrong. Nope, wrong. Yeah, there we go. All right, ranked all. So, I haven't played this in a really long time. Let me go ahead. Here, here, here. All right. Yo. Surely not, right? It's not Arceo, is it? No, that's definitely not Kyo. <laughs> that's not Kale. <laughs> Alright, this song let's back this up. Diamond? Hold on, let's let's pay attention, right? <laughs> Um, it's like it's not particularly clean, is it? It's just like everyone's like kind of clueless. But like the mechanics are far better than like. I think Ray's an aid. Start rotating. Yeah, they're out on site from Hookah now. Nobody called that. I tried my best to get home from my dog. I feel like diamond's a pretty good, like plat or diamond's a pretty good guess. Diamond or ascendant. Plat or diamond based off of like the gameplay, but the fact that they picked up, um, the op makes me think ascendant. So we'll, we'll cut it in the middle. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good job, Velo. Next clip. Uh, but whoa, fourteen forty p. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, yes, elite comp versus elite comp. Um, 
kind of lazy. Was really good at... The way that he's taking this fight is really good. I'm very pleased with this. This is really nice. It's just like really lazy. This is definitely not gold or silver. Gold or silvers aren't paying this much attention. Gold or silvers aren't pushing in like that. This is a Mirage. No, this is Rankdoll. Really fun though. No, wait. Yeah, like it's definitely not gold or silver. No way, it's definitely not. Like this is really lazy, this is really sloppy. This is stupid confidence silver. Yeah, I guess homeboy standing out in the open is really... No, but silvers don't do this. It is like really like floaty, isn't it? <sighs> like silvers aren't holding this. Like if we're getting this kill here, there really shouldn't be anyone market or pizza. So I guess he. He's been sober for three years. <laughs> Jet ace. The breach being on site. Oh, he's holding for the run out. I, I want to say it's ascended. No. <laughs> oh, I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Last player standing. I've got your trail. One v four. That looks fucking weird. Pull them to their grave. Spike planted. Reeling them in. Joke's over. You're dead. You will not kill my ally. Three down. One enemy Your remaining. Story ends here. What the fuck? I want to say that this was like plat or something. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> like, there's no way an immortal player, like, th like, th immortal players throw around that hard. All right, this would have been a 6 0 if I didn't, uh, ignore Velo. <laughs> That's tragic. Okay, um, let's talk, um, <laughs> I'll show you harder throws in my games. I don't know if I want to see that, brother. I'm just going to get mad. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to go ahead and get started with the VOD review. Um, actually, no, we're going to go ahead and get started with building the playbook. So to start off, there's a website that everyone can access for free. That is valoplant.gg. And what this thing is, is it's just a website that uh, allows you to create your own strategies and learn lineups for Valorant. So you can go ahead and click it. Um, we're going to be learning on Lotus today. So what you can do is you can like click on an agent, it'll show up, or you can like click and drag an agent, it'll show up on the map. Um, so like today we're going to be looking at Omen and how Omen works on the map and what your goals are and what do you want to achieve. Um, a lot of what we're doing here is solving problems before they arise. And 
what you can do is like say like oh okay you know if i want to play on c like you know do i want to put a, a one-way smoke on this on the box here where can i sit so my flashes get a lot of value um where can i tp blah 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 and with a combination of looking at professional players using these free tools that you have readily available and just even like sitting in a custom game it can allow you to create flow charts for yourself on how to play um, an agent far better than you do currently. So what my process is, is I've got Valoplant downloaded. I think if you could click, you can click like over here and it'll give you the option to download it, right? something like that. Um, I open up a Valo plant, so I've got my own little Valo plant here, and then just go to YouTube and I just search insert pro player uh, agent I want to play. Oh my god, it's me. <laughs> insert pro player, um, insert map, insert agent. If you don't know who to look at, you can go ahead and go to vlr.gg. Um, this is just another website that tracks pro games, semi-pro games, um, and I guess like tier three and tier four stuff as well, collegiate games. Um, but they've got this cool ranking system, um, Sinatra Lotus Rays. Sinatra is unironically the best autopiloter in the game. So yeah, you can you can look at Sinatra for Sobavods in particular. He's, I don't particularly care for Sinatra as an individual, but you cannot deny someone who's just really good. My main rule of thumb for looking at players uh, is just to pick people who have been playing the same role for a really long time. So a really good example for Smokes is Xander. If you look at his all-time history, like 2,000 rounds on Viper... Astra, a thousand rounds on Omen, and these are pro games. So that means that this person has been playing at a really high level for a really lo long time. Um, all the way back when he was on teams like <laughs> Skater Boys and Down Bad. It means that he's taken the time to do his homework, grow as a player, and develop his playbooks as an individual. So I feel like Xander's a great p person to start with. Um, and again, like, you can just kind of click around. Like, you can click to events, um, like completed events. You can scroll down, like the Sentinels inv Invitational, if you want someone like to find players at a, a slightly lower level. Like, you can look at Valen, you can look at Scuba, you can look at, I guess, Zelsis, but probably Pancot. Um, but then what I do here is I just look at... Xander, Lotus, Omen, and boom, like a bunch of stuff comes up. Yo, what's up, RJ? Good to see you, brother. Um, I usually look for things that have are, are a little bit more recent. Um, so rather than looking at things that are like five or six months old, I'll try to find things within the last month or two. Not because I think that there aren't things to learn from older VODs, um, but more just with so many patches happening all the time, it's better to have something that is closer to the version of the game that you're playing on current. So we're just gonna open this up and we're just gonna wait and see what happens. I think for the sake of starting from scratch, we're just gonna go ahead and um, We're just going to go ahead and start on the defensive half because the defense half is really simple. Um, and the reason that the defense half is really simple is because you're not trying to set the pace of the game on the defense half. You're just trying to, oh my god, maybe this is not the best VOD to use. We'll see. Um...
you're responding to what the offense is doing and through looking at a bunch of different vods and looking at a bunch of different pros you'll see a lot of habits typically on lotus you'll see people play more towards the c site if i'm on defense the c site or b site if i'm playing as omen because i can take a fight along this line i can put my one way here i can take this fight and then tp away i can tp elbow i can tp on the site it allows me to close a lot of difference uh really quickly or you'll see um omens play on b you'll play see them play back here to play off of paranoia or you paranoia up here with a raise or something like that because bad guys will typically um hop around the corner to get away from the paranoia and with a satchel you can come around generally it's not something you want to do often just because if you do it too much bad guys will stand over here but we're not worried about that so let's take a look at this vod Combined. oh well tier two brings it up tier two brings it up i don't know about that no, but I'm in, I'm including you know like turtle troops at zero dollars. Um, that is really tragic. So he's playing on A. He's kind of he's playing by himself if you if you pay attention. So you can see that chamber and. Sky. So Jet's playing over on these back stairs here. So Jet's here. It's here. Chamber is. I want to say C site. Um. Then Yoru's over there too. So because he doesn't have a, a bunch of people ready and willing to fight him he's just okay like playing this like back angle here forcing the bad guys to push through the smoke so he can take kind of a favorable fight and hopefully his teammate can get his trade so that's the thought process here let's go back brings it up tier two brings it up i don't know about that no, but I, I'm in, I'm including like turtle troops at zero dollars. Yeah, um, Are you just sitting there, you fucking donkey? Oh, bad language. Oh my goodness. Okay, continue anyways. Wait, but you're saying okay? Well, we kind of have to see tier two first. Okay, I was counting them. Okay, fine. All right, we don't have to really watch the rest of this. For a league minimum, not just saying shit minimum. Yeah. You can run. That is disgusting. Um, disgusting. I'm supposed to eat food. We're on right? an eco here. I'm going to be honest, y'all. We may be looking for a different VOD here. The reason I'm not sure if I want to use this VOD, I don't know. Let's let's just keep going. So we get aggressive here. We're running up, running up, running up. Flash, flash. Do a money spread. Well, <laughs> they're on city. Gamble stacked and just kind of like ran it down. Speaking? I'm hiding. Spike oh, planted. Fuck, you know. I don't know. Back. No. I can tell you, but okay. You're gonna go All right, so it's fine. We're good. We're good. I was freaking out just a little bit because when I'm thinking about uh, Omen playing on a you typically want to see omen playing on a when you have a raise on your team because with you with you when you have an omen here um you can paranoia the run out chuck a nade so that either they fall back into this little area here or run forward into the nade and you scale up and then tp over into the shrouded step if you're looking at the comp they had yoru 
sky, chamber, and jet. So none of those agents force create enough of a threat to force the enemy team to go one way or the other. So let's take a look at what I feel like is typically normal for an omen on this map. Go crazy. No cap. Shadows traveling. I got snapped. <laughs> That's really tragic. <laughs> okay. So I mean like typically hopefully we start seeing omen just do this pretty much every single round. He's holding this line. Um, the bad guys were trying to bro his bed. <laughs> the bad guys were scaling up um, behind the cascade. So it took away the power from this one way, which I think is a pretty good piece of counterplay. Um, and then they just pinged it and then spammed them through. That's really tragic. Next round. Is why? <laughs> League minimum, but playing for millions in China. Wait. <laughs> Wait a damn Wait. second here. Yes. Wait a second. What That's happened? So... <laughs> but no, what happened so to good. the passion? I, I guess the. Uh, Such, let's see. I guess the dream team was. Or was that it? That's it, actually. Cover going on. Who's coming to you? So he has a judge here. And he's just okay with waiting for them to come in. He's okay playing. Jesus Christ, dude. One HP, one HP race. Is this whole VOD like this? Cover going out. The jump peaks. Jump peaks. Jesus Christ, we got it. Joke's over. You're dead. That's weird. Oh, what? One more B, one more B. One more B? Great. Still from B? I can kill him. Are we just gonna, what, are we gonna just watch him get laid out every single round? Yeah, apparently. Wait, who is B? Can you... Enemy remaining. One enemy... Mamma mia. Spike planted. Nice. Want that no? We got like one. Three. Okay, so he's playing C pretty much every single round. It's just like we're not seeing anything of what he's build his playbook to do. So he puts the one way, he goes for the jump peak. I think so. Watch your beard. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, it looked like Reno was hopping. He goes for the fast TP as I soon as his teammates go. call for the rotation. If you look at where his teammate is, his teammate's outside B, he just died. They're now putting pressure on B. I can blind Ling. Hopping long. He's just waiting for the smoke. Holding for a late lurk. Wait, look, I'm looking at your beam. Running back to running back to Spike down. I don't know why ATB's there. For a better timing, maybe? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I don't feel like this is a very good VOD to learn from. I think we gotta find a different one. <laughs> uh, recently uploaded? Radium Pro VODs. Five months ago, one month ago, eight months ago. Well, 
Why is this also Psalm time? I don't like I like Psalm a lot as a player. The issue is just like when he's queued with people, he's really not as good. All right. Things a day. And I'm fucking Phoenix for some more. It's fucking hard out here. All right, let's see what's going on. Bang. No, I can't use this one. <sighs> sure, though. I just prefer him. And I want to live. No, I'm gonna take over. It's hard. It's hard to just TP in like that. Bonus, but. Molly writes it. Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna open play? Yeah. Right, so this is exactly what I was just talking about. Um. He has the raise, and you've got like extra suppression with like the gecko flash as well. So pairing all of that on the A site on the pistol round is actually really strong. And this is the second time we've seen him play A site on pistol. Like that. You're just gonna be like dead if you're like keeping in the middle, no, middle nowhere. And they're just ready to fight. They fought for all of A space. Well, that's not very And our teammate is walking up C right here. So let's uh, go ahead and add our first thing to the playbook, right? That's two rods in a row. We've seen uh, Omen play on A, right? Um. If on loan, play, tree, smoke, where barrier is off of noise and try to get two kills. If you have a rate, paranoia. Paranoia. And push up to rubble. Bam. Can live here. If alone. Alone. Push up here. Paranoia. Here. Or standing here. Smoke here. You're holding for a fight. What am I looking for?
Cool. So that's our first part of the playbook. We've seen him. We've seen Xander push a main both times on pistol. So this isn't just like a one-off thing that he does. It's something that he does repeatedly. And so the main thing that you're really looking for when building these playbooks, you're looking for habits that the person does every single round or a lot of the time. So let's continue watching. So he saw that the bad guys decided not to push through. The bad guys ended up walking back to fight our jet over on the seaside. You can see she died on the sea mound. Um, due to our pressure on uh, the A bomb site or up A main. Well, that's not very good. RC player is solo and just died. So we're preemptively smoking that. We don't hear anything. We're jump peeking um, this back hallway. Typically, what you'll see on Lotus a lot is uh, if the other team is good. They will push aggressively into like these deeper angles because it gives them uh, a really good opportunity to kind of have fallback positions, which will be a topic that I talk about later, um, where you can like take a fight on this angle and then you can take a fight on this angle and you can take a fight on this angle. So it forces... It gives the def uh, the attacking team more opportunities to take favorable fights because they have cover here, you know, they have cover here. If we're like looking at this angle here, they've got cover over here, so on and so forth. Um, so that's why uh, Xander chooses to jump peek around that corner there. The same reason why they use the dizzy. They're trying to get information. Neon in the cup here. The one thing um, I really like about HP. Xander as a player oh my. is that he just, he wants to fight. And that's the main thing that I look uh, at myself and I realize that I'm not very good at fighting. And that's the main thing that I really am trying to focus on right now is specifically like crosshair placement and taking as many fights as possible because up until this point, I was really afraid. I was afraid of dying because I was playing smokes all the time. So that would bleed into the way that I played the game. I would play really, really passively. I wouldn't try to work towards any sort of goals or anything like that. Um, so this guy fights and he's really good at it, as you can see there. Let's go actually, like, let's break down like this little interaction right here because I think it's really, really good. So they just get information that one was playing close. If we go back, we can confirm that it was someone. So we jump peek here. It's the neon. So we confirm that it's the neon. We work up. This little swing he does here is kind of lazy, which I don't particularly care for. I don't know. I think he's like ready for someone to be in like an off angle, but but then he quickly corrects himself. You know, there's stairs here, so there could be a bad guy right where he's looking. He then clears uh, water because this is another common position that people play in. He then clears this ramp, and that's where he find, finds the neon because this is another common angle. There's the water. He disengages from this fight. So watch. So he gets the information and then disengages because he expects there to be someone trying to play off of the Neon's contact. That's why he doesn't stand and fight the Neon. He backs up just a little bit to see if someone's playing in the smoke and then catches the chamber because the chamber thinks he has a timing. Neon. And then he goes to check the Neon because he expects the Neon to swing off of his teammate's contact. And then he just, and then he just loses the fight. Oh my god. Really, really good round from Xander. Um, the idea of knowing when to take a fight and when to kind of just reset 
is something that will develop over time. You, when you do these VOD reviews, you kind of have to ask yourself, what value am I, how bad would it be if I were to die in this fight? And at that point, having... It's a, it's a man down situation. So by being really careful in the way that we're taking these fights, we're giving ourselves more of an opportunity to switch this round around, right? Because in a 4v5, if everyone plays perfectly, like the game is, that, that round's over. These guys were playing perfectly. And because these guys were aggressive, but detail oriented in the way that they the the took country. the space back, that's why the oh round became God. so much more winnable. So let's keep going. We're already happy. Then, cause All right. It doesn't matter if I'm happy for now. So he's back on C, right? He doesn't mean nothing. Going one ways, jump peaks. I mean, C9 uh, actually feels Thank bad, you. man. But and he's rotating immediately. He starts rotating at 33 or 35 because he hears noise. I actually have to stay on C. Why does he have to stay on C? He grabs a gun. Gonna die. What makes him stay on C? Tuck, tuck, raise, tuck, I'll hold. And he's playing elbow here because it gives him a lot of space to kind of disengage from a fight. He doesn't want to stand and fight in this situation because if you look at their weapons versus what he has, he has the better weapons. It's fucking crazy timing. Oh, no. Who are they both at? One's guys. So, hold on. So our teammate dies to a chamber who lurks. Tuck, tuck, raise, tuck. I'll hold. He, like he's lurking in this way right now. This guy dies. Wait, I'm given. Alright, I'm on sixty four. I'm Piper. Bomb kill. Wait, this guy flanked you water? Yeah. Wait, it's fucking crazy timing. Oh, That's wild. Oh, no. Who are they both at? <clears throat> One of guys like, huh? So, Xander gets punished for trying to get the fast rotate. Spike planted. Jump peaks on the retake here. Jumps to clear. Ugh, uh, gross. Wait, I'm sorry, I have no fucking clue, I'll be honest. I was posted on like this from Bend. I don't know how he's here. Gross. Alright, so let's just add that. We kind of knew that he did that already. But he's rotating immediately because he believes he's so important to each round that he's always looking to put himself in those positions where he's having fights, where he's helping his teammates out. EG goes, do you like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what makes him unique, I guess, right? Everyone else smokes go away, right? You gonna fight for it, or...? So he messes up the one way, he sees two, just jump peaks and backs up. So he's, you'll notice that he doesn't like panic throw a smoke. He just runs straight back up to behind the bend here. Because getting from here to here takes a really long time. Especially if, he, if the bad guys think that there's a possibility that they could be taking a fight there. So he has enough time to get comfortably behind this pillar, and this pillar allows him to fight both bend and the entrance. 
So that's really cool. Yeah, you can stay there, Raze. He's playing scaling a little off thing here. They are scaling up. He's flashing the run out. Oh my god, I'm 1 HP. I'm 1, you're fucked. And he's completely given oh, sight. They're blind. Alright, and we're kind of seeing like how to lose this round in real time. So what happened here is he was in a position, he wanted to try and like stand scaling and fight. Up, scaling up. They're scaling up as he's like chucking a smoke, which is really unfortunate. Okay. He flashes to prov like he thinks they're running out right now. He's trying to fight with his teammate. God, I'm... And he's backing up. The jet's just kind of lost. But we've confirmed that the sky, the neon, the chamber, and the omen are here. HP. I'm one. You're fucked. And our gecko just runs through the smoke for nothing. He doesn't even wait for the dizzy to pop. Oh, you're just running that? They're blind. Everyone's just running out. Everyone's just walking out. No information, no flash, no nothing. What could have uh, Xander done differently there? Spike planted. He smokes. This smoke he does. Right here. Is really cool. Because Gecko players, <laughs> when a bad play is in front of them, yeah. This smoke that he does um, is really cool because on the retake, putting a smoke like this creates the threat of being able to walk out towards Bend or towards Cubby. So you have to kind of respect it because there's like a lot of different ways people can like walk out of the smoke. So by him throwing it like that, because the, he hasn't heard, they haven't heard any TPs either. So there's a very real possibility he could TP like somewhere really fucking dumb. Um, so he's throwing the smoke to create the illusion of this threat existing and then pathing the CT to see if he can catch someone out of position. That's really unfortunate. Shot, yeah, that was a really bad play oh from his team. Okay, so once again, we're playing on C. We're doing the one way. His teammates are crossing, so he doesn't feel the need. They're instantly rotating just because this team nice wants to moves. play kind of fast. Like, if you're seeing the neon in the sky, like, obviously yeah. they want to play kind of fast. Yo. This guy. Um, I think that this fight is a little less than optimal. Like this one's fine. Look at the chamber. We confirmed that one is towards um tree. So we chuck the flash, and then he peeks. He doesn't wait for her to be blind before he peeks. She's in an off angle too, which is like, whatever. I don't think this round is 100% his fault. He rotated as quickly as he could and he got to. This round's not his fault. <laughs> Yo, this guy. Yeah, Chamber needs to win his fight. His teammate on site A needs to win his fight. Let's keep going. He's pivoted back to A because they're just running it down. And he just gets Fuck fucking him. annihilated. Yeah. He dinked our gecko too. Wow, we lost. Seven months. Damn.
I didn't think that they were gonna win that. back. <laughs> okay, so once again we're playing on A. Yeah, nade rubble. I'm blinding this right away. You don't have to molly. I don't think, Kiko. And he rips the TP. I canceled that. Damn, he this wasn't ready. This guy heard me. This guy's lurking, eh, bro? Uh, yeah, it's C. It's C, it's C. Okay. One thing that we can do is go ahead and add this to our playbook. If alone, play tree. On pistols, we play A. If alone, play tree, smoke, okay, whatever. So we can get rid of that. Do that there. And then we can add another text box. No, fuck. Text. Yawn, play more boring. You just need aim lab. You don't need good plays if you just aim diff kappa. I mean, if he was just aim diff, you'd be radiant, right? Vila? Considering that you out aimed the radiant players that you uh, see in DMs all the time? You're just tens, bro. In DM. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so the, the, the aim, the mode that's specifically designed to make you aim good? If you have a raise. Paranoia a main and push up to trouble to troll all of it. Cool. Uh, we need another text box. If you notice. Fast A Agro Paranoia is one of the best tools to stuff a full exit. Use off of hard information for Max efficiency. I can see there too. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where. What if I vomit? Mm, too much. Jet, you're like entry. I mean, it doesn't really like make too much fucking sense. Like, you're clearing literally every angle like Jet. Like, you're going like fucking this. Like, you know, you're going crazy like this. Like, controller. If you're entering, you're usually just fucking running in and clearing everything. The dog's not clearing or anything play, like that. Or just not clearing. Okay. So I missed the... He like, didn't do the one way. He wants to go like for... Angles and you're not getting so aggressive where you're like... Very like... F like fighting everybody. I don't explain it. I think overall it's just like... So he's throwing a smoke to try and help his team. Can you raise up? Oh fuck. guys. He's on a hard retake. This is really, really unfortunate. This is kind of fun. This shit's super fucked. Last player standing. 
He's in the Extremely hole. unfortunate. Great game. I don't know though. Cause I feel like if I'm playing an anchor agent, I'm playing a lot more off angles and like holding down my position more. Whereas like, I feel like Jagger's moving all the time. Okay, that wasn't like the greatest VOD. Let's see if we can find a different one. Oh, that's the only a month ago? What am I looking at? Split. Look up 100 Thieves Bang Lotus. Let's been swimming, not streaming. How did these bang Lotus Omen? Three months ago. Derek. Yeah, sure. Let's go. We need pistol. We just need pistol. Am I even kidding? I'm trying very hard. Nine, three, curse. Wait, not not the On God. Um, so right right here. Yep. I don't like this buy. You definitely don't buy ghost. Two, two Spokes Paranoia on defense is like, the matter. You know. Especially when the ghost is like so bad. Bro, who the fuck is typing this shit? This guy's a fucking loser. 1970. On my team he's giving up, on the enemy team he's trying his very hardest. <laughs> he's literally running it down on my team. Literally sky flashing through viper walls and just like sending it. Alright, so he is playing on a... On pistol? I'm giving you a smoke see. Smoking see man. Bro thinks he knows better than Bang. I think there are better smoke players that know better than Bang. And that's why I'm basing it off of that. There's a guy holding A push. I can see and there it is. I can dog see where he was. Appreciate it. Time to hunt. Bang is top NA smoker. Spike planted. Last player standing. Bang is the most consistent smoke player in North America, and it's not even close. Completely wrong, but okay. <laughs> You're saying that like Xander, Som, Pankata don't exist? I just named three. I, I just named three. No, 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 he wasn't even there. That's the worst part. He was behind his wall. Hancock is absolutely washed. Jesus, there's no way you're saying that, bro. How do they know? He's just better. What are you streaming? It would be. Tom would be if he played competitive. Yeah, that guy's better run through his orb or some shit. Enemy spotted. Rushing, throwing smoke down. Nice. How many more? How many more? This is uh, insane yeah, 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 for an okay, eco. I can't bend in a second. I'm on bend. Okay. And last guy, I don't even remember his name. So irrelevant. Can you hear the right. flood in? Can you hear the flood of my Xander. Yeah. After this guy. Actually, I flash bend. Scuba. No, Scuba's definitely. Ah, Scuba's really good. But I don't know if he's better than. Ben, Ben, Ben. Oh, I thought we cleared that angle. Wait, he was right here. Well, I did. Clear Wait, what? I killed yeah. one here. There, uh, Did he just zoom into it after? I, I guess he just yeah, dude. It right away. Uh, You're right. One performance does actually make or break a player. Wait, did you, did you see an omen TPing by any chance while you were peeking that? No. Oh, okay. I just killed KO. That was full blind. Oh. I'm like the thing is, is like so so f you, you I don't understand. Okay. You might have just swung Ben. Then I just... Yeah. Hey, flash. Pull cat. Hold on. KO, running it down. Spike spotted 
Hey. What? what? Oh, we do have bomb. If I'm looking at someone who has like a clear playbook and is last player standing, a really good jumping off point to teach players who don't know how to build a playbook how to build a playbook, I'm absolutely gonna go with the people that I named over Ben because what it, we watch three rounds and and nothing is formulaic. Match point. I'm not looking to change your mind. Like you can be, be a light at the end of that stubborn and wrong top, right? as, as much as you want. Oh, like yeah. a good player is a good player, you know? Oh, what the f Can you now analyze knights on ascent? Honestly, I've been thinking about doing it just because of the meme. <laughs> Good to see you, Zambe. I also like I don't think that this is a good I don't think this is a good showing oh, yeah. for Bang. <laughs> That's fucked that he almost hit that shot. I'm in Zinx. Hold it with you. I'm in TP. Viper fly out there. Everyone has guardians. Spike planted. This opener from Bang has been fucking insane. And there's still a non zero chance they lose this round. Going water. One enemy My remaining. Is ready. One. Hate me. Hate me. God damn! Wow, look at us. Winning rounds and shit. Whoa. That was a really good round, but they didn't use any you like important you never really know. Just like <laughs> what up? He did do a silly yeah, there is a flash. Okay, all right. So we're seeing the aggro. There's the flash. The TP. Good kills. He's just TPing off of vibes. Since when are you scrimming, Xander, Sam? We can say that we can TP either on top or just over here to create mind games. That's good to know. I guess for like fall away options, we saw Xander. F motherfuck. <laughs> no, my teammate's friends with the Koala. Ah, okay. Is Koala. I don't think Koala is still on M80, is he? He is? Oh, okay. Koala and Ismo Zambo. Nitro? BCJ? Ay, 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 ay. What the fuck? I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because <laughs> with Nitro having kids, he wants to place somewhere where he doesn't have to travel as much. It's just genius. This is old news. I thought Nitro was still playing on like that fucked roster where he had like. You know the roster that I'm talking about, right? Where it was like. Like five players who should not be playing. Team Liquid CS. Yeah, thank you. Yay, exalt precision. I do miss seeing like Jangler and precision um, from TSM Academy. Um, they were good. TSM Academy was really, really good. I miss seeing them. ZK was really good, too. Um, oh, my, my omen got canceled. 
Spike down B. Enemy spotted B. Or you see a lot of things with a lot of a cer certainty. Yeah, decomp was fucked. Pushing heaven. Pushed heaven. Does he decop even play anymore? Spike planted. It's a good question. I'll smoke bomb. I'll smoke bomb. Cover going out. I'm getting on bomb, bro. You fight that guy. Yep, into spam. Last player standing. He was playing in Latin. Yep. And then he got dropped recently. The issue with TSM Academy was just like the player turnover rate was just way too fucking high. Like back when uh, TSM Academy was like going toe to toe with like Cloud9 and Knights, like that was a really good squad. Rebo Sim, ZK, Harmful Venture. That was a really long time ago. They beat Gen G. Gen G was bad, but. Harmful of Baby? I will not say about oh, harmful. Soar used to be a really good squad too. I do feel like harmful was carried by uh Did you see Rossi got signed to T1? Man, what the fuck? There's no fucking way. Ugh. <gasps> Nah. -uh. What the fuck? <laughs> so what's the game plan here you just have rossi igl or is rossi t1 fighting <laughs> I would hope not. I feel like Autumn is smart enough to not do that type of shit. Aaron, I don't know. Global Esports with Aaron and Munya was looking pretty good. But I don't know. Unfortunate. That's fucking crazy. Good luck, Sam. Thank you for the heads up. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. What do you think of GE's roster? I don't even know what GE's roster looks like right now, not gonna lie. Blaze King, Benkai, Bolvi, Russ, Lightning Fast. Russ was a good player.
Look at Rust on Guild Esports and repeat that statement. I'm not looking at stats from two years ago, brother. I think Demon 1 and Ethan to energy move is more and more likely. Have you seen the EG news? What? Them trying to pick up um, Stellar and Corey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they basically, like, it's a shell of a company. The fact that it's um, barely up and running is a feat in of itself. Um... I'm going to be honest, I know literally nothing about this guy, but according to people in EU, this guy is, like, the truth. It kind of looks like the truth, not going to lie. And they're getting little to nothing for no denying other orgs offers for players. What do you think QCK to loud? Right should have gotten a crew instead of EG Kek W. Man, I wish our crew was still around, but I um Squishquin just didn't want to be in esports anymore. You can't say no. No one choked. What is your what is your problem with t saying that people were choking? No one choked on Apex. The team that they lost to just had the most insane showing that they've had the entire year. Like this is not a team of chokers. Keiko choked. No, he didn't. He absolutely didn't. Like, Gentlemates just had the most insane fucking game. Oh, no, the first goes for death. <laughs> All right, fucking, it's going in the little blue book. We're going to yeah. VOD review fucking Gentlemates versus Apex. Fucking... All right, I'm so happy Apex Core got revived on Liquid. I think Liquid could be scary good this year. Yeah, I mean, like, let's take a look at this. Yompi, Enzo, Mystic, that's Harmy. Yeah, I mean, like, when Mystic is the worst player on a team, that's probably a good sign, right? With a coach that's, like, been consistently solid, a really good analyst. I said what I said. Who's 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 worse than Mystic? Nats is insane. Keiko's insane. Yompi's insane. Enza's insane. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like this team is dumb. Like it's dumb good. All sounds like chokers. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Um, let's look at uh loud. Let's look at loud. 
Quick, Sadak, Tui's QCK from Furia. August 2020. He was benched. I don't remember. Was he their sixth man? Because he wasn't playing. Oh, there he is. Apparently, Sadak, that they didn't pick up Habit because he didn't want to go through developing a young talent again. Just wanted a more stylish player at injury or mental problems. Like. Do you think Navi will return to prime FEX form? Yeah, probably. They looked really good. <sighs> Hold on. Let me let me choose my words carefully. A lot of the issues. <clears throat> oh, I see. QC had an injury. I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like it's really difficult for me to correctly identify, like, the strengths and weaknesses of Furia because they started off really, really strong and then they just kind of, like, shit the bed. They felt, like, really lost in terms of just, like, gaining and maintaining um, advantages. I don't think it 100% matters when you have, like, Sadak, Toys, Kaunzin, and Less on a team. Right. Or being a VLR forums user makes a ton of sense now. <laughs> Angel belongs in Tier 4 Valorant. Jesus Christ. Like... I guess the thought process is that you're just going to take uh, QCK and just put him back on the jet. Um, I think the problem here is just like you're going to go from Osbos to QCK. All right, easy there, cowboy. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. Um, so I don't know. I'm not. Do I think a cultural shift was needed for that team? Yeah, probably. But I'm not, I can't really be super excited about it when you're going from Osbos to anyone else, right? You know what team needs a coach shift? DRX, Ike. Yeah, I don't know. The issue with um, Korea is just like the second and third and fourth best teams are just like so much worse. And it's not like you can easily like Like it's not like you can easily practice with other people in your in your area, right? Like I don't know where the the Japanese teams play, but if they play in Tokyo, then that's not good practice. 
You can't play with the Chinese teams. That's not good practice. Your best option for practice would be nowhere, right? Like, so you just ha you're just like playing the same fucking teams in Korea over and over and over again. That's just like that can only get you so far. So I don't know. Termi's a fraud. I've been saying this. Tier 2 in Korea is super weak, unfortunately. You need to watch Superdome tomorrow. What's Superdome? The Taco and Fury. APEC in Seoul, just like how in America's in LA. I mean, to be fair, if my best practice was Paper Rex, then I'm pretty happy, right? Oh. Superdome Columbia. That, this looks like it's gonna fucking rock. I didn't even know this was happening. It's literally happening tomorrow. Why did that sound so sarcastic? It's not. It's not sarcastic. You're telling me that the a top three team in the world is my best practice partner? Like, I'm never gonna be mad about that. <sighs> The tone, the tone came off like that. Paper X is Paper X. No, this won't be a banger. Any pro match is a banger. Four's a hater. Four's a certified hater. <laughs> I was going through the uh, Franchise Challengers Pratt group. That Chet and Mike's. Levy at 10, have up. Osboss and Tex is kind of fucked. Levy at tons. The teams in that group when Champs was going on were stacked. If I was any better a few months ago, I could have been screaming. I don't know, man. Like. <sighs> Mizuno's the best player on that roster. I don't know. I really like Dozer. Like, a lot. Like, sp being this flexible and having this much of an impact when you're playing... Like... <laughs> King clears Mazino? What? There's no fucking way, dude. You're telling me that you think that King is better? <sighs> yeah. Hello, uh, minus 16. Brother, you haven't played an official in like a year and a half. Don't fucking start. <laughs> I am excited. What I will say is that I am very excited for owner not to be involved in this shit anymore. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but... I'm cool with owner not being involved anymore. I literally have gotten so much better. It's not. Okay. All right. Um. Mouse is really good too. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, this one is 100%. They just needed a, a staffing change. Um, great. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Earnings check for right now. I'm not earnings checking him right now. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, go next esports. Ascend's just being just absolutely decimated post their trophy is just one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Musashi's really, really good. Batty G's really good. I don't know who Brody is, but he's a UK player, so I don't know. We'll see how that shakes out. Chihuahua. Why play playbook coach? I don't know. Let's go find uh, a good VOD. Instead of this dog shit we just watched. Some Lotus Woman. Three months ago. That's to be something I haven't watched. Shut your mouth, kid. <laughs> oh, so scary. <laughs> Zombs. Oh, that's not even with a filter on. Bang bang is your mom. I don't think he does. I'm someone who plays smoke. This is this is part of the problem, right? Like if I want omen vods, I typically go to Xander. Because I think, here, hold on, let's just look at Psalm Lotus. Like, Psalm plays Astra. I'm not looking for Astra. You know? But you are literally bald. <laughs> Why are you typing to me right now? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. I feel like Viper, Viper. Rays. Viper. Then. What's happening? Yeah, four is not, um... 18, so he can't play in uh, VCT. I want Derek. Minus. I want a guide. C9 Jake? That's six months ago. I'm not watching Flex Ninja. I don't need guys. I don't need guides. <laughs> oh my. This guy does good content. I right, fuck it. Get your VODs prepped next. Sheesh. Send tens omen. I will say I'm very excited for uh, the Tens Smoke experiment. I think that that could be really good. Bleed scary. Why are you looking at YouTube? Just find 
Just watch a pro match, fuckhead. No, that's not the fucking point. All right, listen. What we're doing here is teaching people how to look at footage, take habits away from pro, pro players, and apply that to their own gameplay because the shit the pros do works. I'm not looking for match gameplay. I'm not looking at whatever gameplay. I am looking at... Okay, so... No, it's not. I, the way that I play in ranked is not the same as what pro matches are. And if you tell me that you play in a pro in a match the same way you play in ranked, I'm going to call you a liar. I'm going to ask you to back it up. Because the shit that you do in matches does not hold up the same way. You don't get the level of communication. You don't get the level of coordination. You're a liar. So, right, exactly. So that's the fucking point, right? But you don't actually do that. You have certain plays that you like to make because you know the shit works. And that's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the shit that works. Okay, then that's fine. I don't care. And you're not the people that I'm trying to cater to. Because I know for a fact that you don't do that. I think I was lucky to get on I made it after. Vinny on vacay, so I need a babysitter. That's funny. Whoa, my shit looks weird, bro. Alright, so one way again, you see him play on C. Nice. He's just jiggling. Watch your A. Nothing's here. I look at mini map for a second, bro. Two running up C. Unlucky. Boaster Omen VODs? Shit, you. I want to look at Boaster. Yeah, I mean, like, fuck it. Let's just look. Let's see if we can find something. Uh, Boaster. Lotus Omen. Poster Lotus. Yeah, he plays Astra. Or Harbor, apparently. KJ. Or Yoru. Or Gecko. <laughs> Booster is the fucking best. Why don't you want to play Astra? Just wondering. I, when I'm building my playbooks, I don't want to have to rely on other people understanding and coordinating with what I'm supposed to be doing, if that makes sense. Right now, I'm not good enough to where I can expect people to know how to play off of a stun or a suck or ask for util or like do whatever. <clears throat> my understanding of the game at a macro level is far greater than my ability to implement that as a player, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can look at a VOD and be like, yeah, okay, you want to suck here, stun here, like, these are the timings, these are the whatevers, you know, these are the, the important timestamps per round that you're looking for. Whereas with Omen, I have three, sm like, I can chain three smokes together, I've got a flash and two TP. It requires me to. It's it's a much more simpler kit, and it is equally as flexible. Omen is not a particularly good smoker right now. Um, just with the way that the meta is, but I think that for the sake of me learning, exactly. So play Asha. No, you're not listening. My fundamental skill and ability to execute game plans is not high enough. So therefore, I'm trying to build up my individual repertoire and understanding and game sense such that I can get to the point. Right. You're getting it now. Right. Because like me as a coach, I can tell you what, exactly what you're doing wrong. I just play Asher. You're funny. You make me laugh.
Right, and like you get rewarded for being tricky and doing weird shit, being confident. That's one. That's another thing that I have trouble with. I'm not a confident player, like at all. So forcing myself, right? So work on confidence, right? That's that's exactly what we're talking about here. So we're getting kind of like to like the kernel of what we want to do. So let's finish like sure. doing whatever. Wait, this shit's crazy. We'll never go. So we played on C, now. got annihilated, whatever. I'll, I'll make my lucky, play lucky, lucky. Play when I want. I, I'd I'd quit on. I think I would. I wouldn't quit when I uh... jump peak. Doesn't do the one way here. He's just going yeah, for the fast no, no, rotate. I, would, I wouldn't quit competitively. I'd probably quit content creation though. Jet. There's two more. Reach and jet. I just do it like when I want to and when I want like if I want to, you know. Um he's being quiet here. One second. Go B. They'll never. Damn. Conrad Why owed him. Over here. Those. So there's a one way. Jump peek. He does a one way when he's on a rifle buy, which is one thing that I've noticed. He smokes main. Yeah, I think he's out already. Maybe. No, 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 no. Don't get breakable. Don't get Two more breakable. Uh, they could be walking C. I'm gonna go pick up C. I'm holding A right now. Just outside A. Nice. What are any of these people C? Yeah, good awareness. awareness. She beat into C. That flick is fucking insane. I don't hit that flick ever. Bombs in sight. Yeah, bomb. He's going. He's about to run through. I'll break right now if he uh, flashes through. That one was kind of rad. Nice. I'm gonna be real. That wasn't even crazy. I mean, like in the con. There, I'm in whiff. Or have you tried not being a hater for like five minutes? If these people will see it. One on top you, one top. Keep it into see. Running away top you, one. What? Like, I mean, that's a pretty decent sized flick, you know? It's a good flick, nice. fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> right! Grind again. I hope soon. We just lost at Shopify. Jump peek. The see. stun comes in. He TP's away. He wants to get behind cover. Ooh, right. Okay, so he has to give. He plays in the smoke, which I think is a bit cheeky. He holds the space. I can blind bend. Alright, can you guys? Oh, oh, I'm duck, I'm I literally just get obliterated. How do I get better? I just killed you. Molly shit's broken. Um, pay attention to the way that you're swinging. Pay attention to where your crosshair placement is. Think about the context of the round. Has it been really quiet? Are they just running it down? Are there people who like to lurk? I need a little bit more context. If you're just straight up losing your fights, then that just means that you just need to hop into a custom with a buddy and just like practice that. Or get whenever you get into a DM, 
on Lotus, you just try to get to that space and hold that for the remainder of the DM. I think in your case, it's just the fact that like you haven't mapped out how you want to scale that space. It is dying. Well, then just don't. If if you're gonna if you're not gonna give if you're not gonna like elaborate on to what what it, the issue is, I'm just gonna be like just don't die forehead. I peek out of the smoke when as KJ to fight sight and I die. Are you coordinating with people or is it just like you're kind of fucked and you kind of just have to swing out? Because the way I'm thinking about it is like. You know, let's say that this shit is smoked. So this shit is smoked. Actually, before they are in sight, I'm holding waterfall cross and just get flicked. So like you're playing here or you're playing here. Because I feel like as KJ, I'm I'm playing bend, right? Like I'm jump peeking this and then I'm running to bend. Because I've got my nano, my nano, and then alarm bot. If I'm because it sounds like you're trying to hard hold, right? Because if you're not hard holding, then you're typically like playing bend is suicide. I mean, pros to it, so. Pookie Bear 4 and I are gonna do and then do a sleep call soon. Okay. If you, like, I know you've started, like, recording VODs, send me a VOD and we'll take a look at it together. 99% of the time on Lotus is a raise, right? But you're not playing, like, most raises aren't just, like, ripping and ripping their. I'm not sleep calling. They're not just gripping and ripping the nade for free. I haven't recorded. Okay. Maybe that's your problem. Start recording. Two, three months. All right, then start recording Lotus games. Just Lotus games only, right? It's a great way. It's a great place to start. You've identified a problem area. You don't really have a clue on how to navigate that issue. Look at the bots. You've got the solution, like, ready and available. Have a computer? What do you mean you don't have a computer? What are you playing Valorant on? Or are you just not playing Valorant? A computer, a brother's computer. Guys, is Xander coaching a habit from CS? Yes. If I can. Yeah, kind of. I do the palm thing too. Wow. Two more, two more, two more. I'm coming. Your computer. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not sure. I think so. Fuck, we have to wait for us again. Really? Cover going out. I broke it now. NB, NB. No, 108. That's really That's tough. That's not a kill though. 108 only. 
I sure your shit sucks. So he switched over to A. Yeah. On an eco? Dude, Jay, if you just dash across. I'll open yeah. blind. Yeah, he's gonna, this Jay's just gonna dash rubble, yeah? Blind it, blind it, blind it. I got stunned, I got stunned. Oh, fuck. 140 on KJ, 140 on KJ, 2 right now. 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 of 5. Both 1 HP, 1 of 1 HP. Shoot him. So they just made the adaptation, like if they, they just started running it down. Wow. They hard fought All this for A. When they go see, they breached on this, by the way. Alright, same thing. Oh? New one way just dropped? I'm blinded, yeah. They're all blinded. Wow, that is unfortunate. Oh no. This guy gets so much value for just. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You should run. Spike planted. Was your DPI in sense? There you go, Nightbot got you. Hey, game? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. So they didn't, they stopped, they weren't going to C, so he's put himself in a position where he's having more impact. No, I he doesn't get a second one? Aye, 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 that's not good. He commits for the spray. I don't think you commit to the spray, right? You took the aggro and then you just disengage like, right like he lost this round for his team I... on an eco use booba mousepad of course all of us use the booba mousepad what yo 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 that is the odin the odin spam that's kind of rad that's cool tech ow that's bomb down, down wait can we control that there's two a eh? one a still you guys can definitely control that. <sighs> Odin spam's probably KJ. Nope. I smoked. Later. Jet? Who's the Odin spammer? Alright, I'm walking it. One here, one here, one here. Nope, it's the breach. Why does the breach have it? Chamber getting two there is wild. Can I have it? I can... Oh, hold on. I haven't seen him play B yet. So let's see what he does on B. Watch your B. Watch your B. Wait, you just TP'd here, bro. Wait, he TP'd here, I'm certain. He could be like in our spawn heaven. Nix doesn't trust me. He's outside. Pick the bomb. Yeah, 40. I thought he was, I thought he was outside. Plenty, plenty, 40 plenty, on him. Plenty, 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 plenty. Fake it, fake it. Okay, I'm gonna run and grab the orb. Hold this one for a minute. What's up? Good trade. I just had some chocolate at one end. Yo, make it to the. Alright, so he played B one round. So if you want to stuff aggro, you play A. Typically, you play C. B. 
be lurking outside of C, I guess. Really careful of the lurk here. Oy, 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 oy. Last round in the half. It's the healthiest thing you can do. Sure. Yeah, he's only playing A and C. Alright, drop me. Oh no! Okay, all right. So I guess the point that I'm making here is that there's like two things you do. Um. On C. You get your one and leave, or you get two and die. Typically, we don't see women fight for round, but would be when using low stick path to pillar posing comp habit just All right, that's it. It's a really basic playbook, but it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? So we're gonna go. Shot. Got this handy dandy little document. Will it just got this handy dandy whatever? Got attack, defense. You can kind of go into depth here. But for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, wrong thing. I'm just going to go ahead and tag this, pop it in right there. There's your starter playbook. Um, just writing something down or doing anything is better than nothing. It'll always be a process and not holding yourself to the standard of getting it right the first time around will free you up to do whatever learning that you're doing. No one's expecting you to be perfect. No one's expecting you to be a superstar. All that you can really do and the only standard that you really should be holding yourself to is just to be a better version of yourself than you were yet. Um... I'm going to wrap it there. We'll see if this is good enough to turn into a YouTube video. If it is good enough, then hello in the future. That, um, coming up.